Underperformance. Is your training fit for purpose? Underperformance in a sales team can consume a huge amount of time and become a major distraction from the real task of meeting customers and operating in the market. In this short video, I'll offer some thoughts on how to quickly put a stop to the all-consuming issues of underperformance. By the time you finish watching this video, you'll have some strategies to test your thinking and approach, and most importantly, have the confidence to get your team back on track. So before we begin, let me just introduce myself. My name is Martin Coburn, and I'm the Managing Director at The Win Academy where we help sales leaders develop sales professionals who have the confidence, belief, and capability to win. Underperformance in sales can be the result of many issues. The skills of the sales leader is to understand where that problem lies and fast. I always start from the premise that salespeople truthfully want to succeed, and therefore an underperforming salesperson is an unhappy person. They're not doing it on purpose. Well, with the exception of a few, and you know exactly who they are. So I would always start with understanding, is it a capability issue, a motivation issue, lack of confidence, are they unhappy with the organization, or maybe they've just simply lost their mojo. They've fallen behind in terms of the sales approach, your salespeople, yes, they attend, and they get through the training. But what if they don't support what is being said and what is being taught or the approach? Cynicism builds towards the training and that just provides further excuses for underperformance. So defaulting people to putting people on existing training programs could be actually disguising the real issue and actually leading to worsening the situation as your talent becomes increasingly frustrated. They're working hard, they want to succeed but they're making little progress and then feeling persecuted for not succeeding. No salesperson likes that situation. Salespeople, as you know, thrive on winning and it's a big part of their makeup and what drives them. So big question, is your training fit for purpose? Are people genuinely excited about attending because they believe it will help them succeed in the market and they're excited about the opportunity to learn? It might just be worth asking that question before you spend valuable time and money on training that isn't necessarily addressing the real issues of underperformance.